Good evening, everyone. It's Thankful Thursday Reflections again, Kathy, on the Gratitude and Appreciation Facebook page. How are you, my friend? It's been a couple of weeks. It has been. It feels a lot longer than a couple of weeks, but I'm doing <laughs> fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> it's, I'm glad to be back tonight. I've been missing yeah. these uh, weekly chats. Yes, and we have two guests today. I see that. It's miraculous. I love it. Yes, we're, we could almost play like hopscotch or, or foursquare or whatever that childhood game is. It's just beautiful. So we are joined tonight by two very special guests. Um, one is Lucia Stieg of the Messy Maricat Studios and Ricardo Soto. I cannot say your last name, uh, Ricardo. Guevara. Uh, okay, what he said of the Cuba Cafe. <laughs> And these are two of our collaboration partners who are helping support the Gratitude and Appreciation book and art sales. So, Lucia, how are you doing this evening? Very good, thanks. Thank you for having me, as always. And nice to see Ricardo again. We'll yes. See you on Saturday. <laughs> so what do you got um, uh, creating for us for Saturday? I'm going to bring a couple of the, the smaller sort of 12 to 14 inch rounds okay. um, with different themes, especially around Octopus. I don't know if anyone's watched My Octopus Teacher on Netflix. I highly recommend it. <laughs> love it. Absolutely of, love that film. A <laughs> little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of a conservation message as well as a little bit of beauty and crystals coming. Cool. Ooh. Uh, and it's going to be the day after Earth Day tomorrow is uh, tomorrow. So someone can pick up a, a gift for maybe a mom or a dad that's into uh, octopi or octopuses. And, cool. Ric and Ricardo, tell us about your place of business and what are you cooking up for us on uh, Saturday for our event? Well, actually, we're very excited because uh, Coven Cafe is, is just getting to our first anniversary and we are so happy to have you guys in uh, to help us celebrate this. We are excited of, of being able to host you. Uh, the day is looking uh, uh, pretty fun. We're going to have you guys in the morning, in the, in the evening. We're going to have another event by Crazy Bob that is also a neighbor of the area. And uh, so we're waiting for, for a lot of people. In, 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 we're, we, we are going to be very thankful of this uh, opportunity. And so uh, at the beginning, we thought about donating the sales, 20% uh, of the sales from, from Crazy Bob event. Uh, but then uh, things just started coming even better and better. So uh, Crazy Bob uh, liked our idea. And so he's donating 100% of the, of the ticket sales uh, and we, uh, wanted to honor that, uh, so we're donating not, not just the sales from the event, but, but the sales of the, the whole day, uh, and we want to make a donation for, for people that are not going through a, such a, a wonderful time that, like, like we are on this side of the world, so mm. we want to donate to the, to the Red Cross uh, for Ukraine. To, to help a little bit uh, uh, in this case, right? So we're very thankful to have you and and to be that that to to have you be part of this uh, uh, first year of, of of hopefully many years of of Coven Cafe. Wow, that is that is absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I tell you, I just um, I had two two families that I know that are from Ukraine and one, my second family just got out last week mm -hmm. and it's just a miracle, absolute miracle. So anything we can do to help um, those people, oh my goodness, I just, yeah, good for you. Wow. You know, sharing kindness and opening your doors for us to have this event and to celebrate the one year anniversary is truly what we're all about, Jeanette. 
you know, with our gratitude and appreciation. And the board behind me here is, is a kindness board for my school says I'm a, a, a teacher and we've actually expanded across the entire building now. Oh, so I got goosebumps, actually, Kathy. Yeah, we've actually got a board called appreciation. We've got a board called gratitude. We've got a board called kindness. And I switched my board up from not just saying the, it was originally saying kind things about one another's teenagers, right? Teenagers, you remember being teenagers is all about you, right? Like me, like nobody else matters in the whole world. So trying to open their eyes and understand that everybody is part of the community. So now what I have is I put post-its on there to give them a boost for the day. So if they're having a rough time, they'll grab a sticky and put it in their pocket. And when they need a little encouragement, they've got something to read. So it just goes in line what we're doing on Saturday and sharing and 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 giving um, kindness to one another. Oh my goodness, it's just, my heart's going crazy here. It's awesome. Oh, and from our past guests that they've either donated books or we've purchased books uh, on their behalf, like Angus Reed's book, uh, Thank You Coach, great gift for Father's Day, yes. Chloe's book for uh, a a kid's birthday, um, your book, Kathy, your collaboration book, great Mother's Day gift to go with some cupcakes and a piece of art or a, a soap dish that Lucia it, it makes. It's going to be perfect. Like it's going to be a perfect day to support community, support our authors, um, support the arts. Like, uh, excuse me, guys, can we just be like, holy smokes, just like holy smokes. Um, <laughs> I, I just love the people that we surround ourselves with, Kathy. It's we were talking before we came on is like attracts light. The the law of attraction, you put out kindness, kindness comes back. Kindness definitely comes back. So Lucia, what else have you got going on? Just as we kind of wrap this up, we've got a couple of minutes. What have you what else have you got going on with your art out in the community? Yeah, I do I do city parks cleanup with the city of Surrey. I'm a I'm a volunteer. So I do a lot of the cleanup, you know, quietly. I, I don't advertise it much. Um, I also now volunteer on the board of directors for the Fort Langley Arts and Jazz Festival. And that's my way of giving back. And I'm really happy to have been given that opportunity. So thank you again, Jeanette. <laughs> it all revolves around Jeanette. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it really feels good to give. And... I promise you at the Cloverdale, the one thing that I learned, and it, it just became very apparent again at the Cloverdale market that I attended two weeks ago, the more you give, the more you receive, especially when you give without expectation. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely you take, you take out the ego, take out the expectation, take out the conditions. It all comes back to you. It flows back in spades. Yeah. Absolutely. It was it was like such an experience because the sign behind me said, "Be uh, work hard, be humble, and be grateful." Basically, and it was like, oh, love that. If the universe have given a better sign, wow, absolutely. So, Ricardo, I know you've only been in Canada for a short while. I think about the same length of time that uh, Lucia has been in Canada from South Africa. Uh, tell us in, say, 60 seconds about your journey from where you are from to why you landed in downtown Langley City. <laughs> well, uh, we actually have nine years in, in Canada. Okay. We are, uh, uh, we landed first uh, in New Westminster, but when in the first couple of years, we were of course, like newcomers trying to visit around and everything. And we just love uh, uh, Langley, right? Langley, it's, uh, it's all the farms and all the openings and everything. So we come from Mexico City, a very small city in the world that only hosts about 22 million people. And so <laughs> farms for us were like, wow, this is science fiction, right? So. <laughs> just the opportunity to live here like people would say oh the traffic oh yeah you don't know what no. traffic is right so uh, uh, everything led us like at the beginning we couldn't buy a house because we were newcomers we didn't have I, we were on a student visa so no mortgages and everything so in a 
in a very wild real estate market in in in, in a few years it was just impossible to buy something closer to downtown and and so everything pushed us we love more the idea of of of, of the farms and and the open space of langley no no high rises and stuff like that and the prices were more uh, accessible and everything so we landed here right uh, after a while my wife and i I, I, I always loved the, the 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 food and service environment. We we met in a restaurant that I had in in Mexico, and so we had the opportunity to get into this new journey. And here we are, crazy Mexicans, landing a a new coffee shop in the midst of a pandemic, and 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 <laughs> one year, and we're still standing, right? So that, that's incredible, actually. That's absolutely incredible. Wow. wow, wow. We've got two very grateful business owners. I know uh, Lucia landed in Canada at the beginning of the pandemic. Ricardo, you started your business. We all have a lot to be grateful for uh, these days. Um, and most importantly, incredible people that are in our life. Just the incredible, incredible giving hearted people in our life. Well, Kathy, what do you think? Is it time to send out some kindness to the yep. world? Let's do it, girl. Let's do it. Okay, we take our right hand and our left hand. We rub it together. I know you're, you've, uh, <laughs> Ricardo's gonna have to put us. We rub it together. Half a heart, half a heart. I'm gonna pump it three times. One, two, three, and kindness out to the world. Times four. Times four. Thank you, everybody, for watching tonight. And check it out on Saturday. Jeanette will have it posted on Facebook and everywhere else I know. Come and check it out. If anything, to just say hi and uh, share your stories. Thanks, everybody, for joining us tonight. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks very much for having us.